Hello, Hope Kids and Jam friends. It's me, Miss Veronica. By popular demand, I am back to tell you some more good news about God. But first, I want to give a special shout out to Glory and Ariella who have completed the online Bible quizzes. Glory has also been posting prayer requests on our online Padlet prayer journal, and she's been praying for others. Awesome job, girls. I am so encouraged to hear and see that other friends like Ruthie, Caroline, and Veronica have also been worshiping God at home throughout the week. Every Hope Kid and Jam friends and families can go to the church website on the children's page to access all the videos and resource materials. Now, raise your hand if you've ever been too shy or too nervous to talk to someone, or especially about Jesus, and to pray for other people. Have you ever been too afraid to do something? I know there are times when I felt afraid or nervous. Did you know that even Moses and Peter in the Bible were not so great at talking in front of huge crowds of people? Well, do you know who helped them? Guess who gave them the power of boldness and courage? It was God the Holy Spirit. You see, in Acts 1.8, Jesus promised us and commanded us. Jesus said, You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Jesus commanded us to be witnesses. That means to tell other people about him. But he didn't leave us to do it all by ourselves and by our own strength. He promised his followers that they would receive the power when the Holy Spirit came. God the Holy Spirit is our helper. Holy Spirit gives us peace, courage, and the power to do God's work. When you are feeling too shy or too afraid or too nervous to talk to someone about Jesus, pray to God the Holy Spirit to give you the boldness and the courage. Now, what if you really wanted to talk to someone, but that person didn't speak the same language as you? You really want to tell them about how Jesus died on the cross and how he rose again on the, from the dead and all the healing and miracles you just did, but you don't speak Spanish or Chinese or um, Urdu. What can you do? Well, in Acts chapter 2, Peter and the disciples were in a similar situation. How could they communicate? This was when, during the time in Jerusalem, when they were celebrating a special holiday called the Pentecost. So people from all over the country, from different nations, from different places, who spoke different languages, were all in the same place. But how could Peter and the disciples communicate with them? Well, to find out more about how God the Holy Spirit did something amazing so that Peter and the disciples could speak in different languages and how they received wonderful gifts, check out the videos and the materials on the church website. You know, even adults like me sometimes get too nervous to pray for other people. When I am nervous and afraid, I pray to God to give me the courage and the strength. In John chapter 14, verse 27, Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Jesus is such a good friend for giving us peace when we are afraid. I want you to join me on Zoom this Saturday on April 25th at 6.30 p.m. for Marveling Place Remix. We're going to come together to pray together and adore God for being the good, good father that he is and we're going to praise his good name. Now, would you please bow your head with me as I pray? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for just the Holy Spirit that you've given us, who gives us peace and courage in times when we are afraid or too nervous. God, throughout this week, when we have the opportunity to talk to someone about Jesus, give us the boldness to speak about who Jesus is and how Jesus can be such a good friend to us and help us in times like these. So Lord, we thank you, we love you, we honor you, and in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bye!